Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 3.1 earthquake there in Canada, not far from Montreal, Bedford, Canada. It was five kilometers south, southeast of that location. 228 people reported feeling this earthquake. And I've talked about this area a lot most recently in the last few years in the fault line that runs through this location all the way by uh, Michigan and how this failed rift systems all these fault lines they join together but I was wondering about Quebec and Montreal and the threat of earthquakes for that location I was wondering how many people are actually aware that on average they have about every 10 years a magnitude 5 earthquake on the Canadian government's website they list several earthquakes in eastern Ontario and western Quebec. Today's earthquake, they said it was a magnitude 3.7, not a magnitude 3.1. We know USGS loves to downgrade the earthquakes. This is the only earthquake that USGS is showing for that location. It says here it was strongly felt in southern Quebec. There's no reports of damage, and none would be expected, and they have a map. Here we got Montreal up over here, Quebec. On March 29th, there was a 3.6. On the 6th of March, a 3.3. Uh, February, there was a 2.9, and that was the 22nd. And then on February 7th, a 3.0. The felt reports on EMSC, one of them, which was 25 kilometers east from where the earthquake occurred, uh, Sutton, Canada, says it felt like deep dynamite explosion. The house is on the rock on a mountain, and it was like a boom followed by a long vibration. Another one said uh, boom vibration lasted 5 to 8 seconds. Another report, 68 kilometers from the location, says short vibration intensity equal and continuous oculation for about five seconds easy to hear sounded like a snowblower that passes in winter it is the third feeling this year for me near montreal came a report it said felt a slight tremor and it wasn't long i found a paper that was put together by the government it says here, on average, two to three earthquakes greater than a magnitude 5.0 are expected each decade in southeastern Canada. It is inevitable that eastern Canada will experience a magnitude 7.0 earthquake like Haiti, a thousand times more powerful than the magnitude 5.0 event near Ottawa that surprised many people in June of 2010. Now, they are saying two to three earthquakes greater than a 5.0 every decade. For Quebec and Montreal and Ottawa, two of Canada's largest cities, over the past 380 years, there's been five earthquakes that were magnitude 5.0 or greater in the zone, including the event in June of 2010. There is a moderate risk of a large earthquake strike in Montreal, Ottawa, region over the next 50 years but the risk is lower in terms of frequency and severity than that for vancouver or victoria this is a big difference between a 3.1 and a 3.7 each number is 10 times as strong in magnitude this in fact is the same earthquake universal time 1503 usgs 1503. The map of the location is the same for both. So I thought I'd use Google Earth and look up that location, see what we got around here. Here we have um, Bedford, and over here we got Stanbridge East. And I wondered what kind of construction. Is there many buildings with unreinforced masonry, or is it all fairly new construction? This here is Bedford. We got some industry here. It's probably cinder blocks. 
um, with metal, it looks like. What type of construction um, does the schools have there? And the churches and other buildings. Stanbridge East has a river flowing through it. And I've talked about how fault lines often follow rivers. Again, this here is Stanbridge. How well maintained are the bridges that go over these rivers? It looks like this river extends from Bedford all the way up to uh, Riceburg and then creeps its way down to Stan Bridge. Would emergency services be cut off for people for help in the event of a large earthquake where these uh, bridges might collapse? How many of you in these locations have a disaster plan or even um, supplies of medical or emergency um, things that you might need in a disaster? So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Um, always be prepared for a disaster. If not, um, today's always a good day to get started. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all.